Hi Taurus, this is Keep It Real with your reading for October 14th to October 16th. 2021 Taurus. I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you're staying positive, protected, and blessed and prayed up and keep your guards all the way up. Okay, Taurus. Spirit guys, my God, the angels, their angels, ancestors, and guys. What are the messages for the Taurus? Taurus for October 14th to October 16, 2021. Taurus. What is going on in the Taurus life? Spirit guys, my God, the angels, their angels, ancestors. What are the messages for the Taurus? What is going on in the Taurus life? Okay, Taurus, you got the Queen of Pentacles, the bottom card, Capricorn. You're dealing with a Capricorn. This is you, Taurus. You're feeling alone. You want to be alone to yourself. Okay, you know, you're doing some healing, some self-reflection, some healing on yourself, meditation. Okay, you, you focus on your career, your job, your business. Okay, you, you're manifesting, you, you know, you, you're healing yourself. You've been through some things and you and you feel good. You coming out of it and you just want to be to yourself. You just want to focus on you and what you got going on in your life. Taurus, you got the Six of Pentacles. It's a Pisces dealing with a Pisces. This is a Pisces that likes you. You got a Cancer. You dealing with a Cancer, a Taurus, a third party threesome or a same sex relationship. You like women or you like men or you like both bisexual, or someone celebrating having to, you know, be family friends or who was so uh, re reuni reuniting with each other and things like that. Having fun, celebrating, it could be marriage, birthday party, new job, new love, new relation whatsoever. Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So, like I say, good news, money, your wish has been granted, has been heard, Taurus. Okay, whatever you're praying for, wishing for, is being granted to you, Taurus. Money, surprises, and gifts, proposals, someone wants to propose to you, Taurus, or you're going to propose to someone, like if someone's buying a ring. Okay, like I say, gifts, surprises, new job, new home, just being looking good. You got the um, Nine of Cups, which is the Pisces, someone's. Looking at you, Taurus, they want a piece of your sweet potato pie. They want to taste it. They want to, they want to do something with it. Okay, but this is someone thirsty, horny, throbbing for you, Taurus. They're looking at you in a freaky, kinky way. Okay, they they want to, they want to get with you. You know, they got some kind of sexual healing, sexual desires for you, Taurus. Okay, this is a Pisces. Okay, this can be an ex or new love or friend or secret of mine or someone. Someone looking at you like, hmm, this is someone that's addicted to your sex. Or this could be a, a love of yours, an ex of someone you spoke up with, or someone that's still attached to you. They, they're addicted to your sex. You, you make them feel good, and you just want to be alone. You don't want to deal with this Pisces. Yeah, Taurus, you don't want to deal with this Pisces. Okay? This is Pisces have a sex problem. Sex addiction is Pisces sleeps around a lot. For different people, okay? Or this can be someone that likes you. This Pisces just have a mad, freaky, horny, thriving crush on you. <laughs> okay, this person desire you. This person fantasize about you. Okay, this person just plays with themselves looking at you. Lord, have mercy. Okay. All right, so let me wrap it up. Let's do these cards. Whoa. We got the two of wands. So this is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Five of Cups, a Scorpio, the Chariot, Cancer, Seven of Cups, Scorpio. We got the Queen of Swords, Libra, Three of Pentacles, Capricorn, Death Card, Scorpio, Six of Swords, Aquarius. Okay. And we got the Seven of Wands. That's uh, Leo and the Lovers, Gemini, and the Five of Swords, Aquarius, Eight of Cups, 
I see. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. So we got a fire sign watching you, looking at you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Watching you on social media, Instagram or whatever, Instagram or page, or online, YouTube, who whatsoever, Facebook or whatever. Someone's watching you, looking at you. They like what they see. They're looking at you. I don't know. But this person looking at you. This could be an ex of yours, a family member, friend or who, or secret admirer. Or this is someone just watching you, looking at you. This is someone very wealthy and well-established that they own, you know. and. This is a, a clever person, very responsible. I mean, very independent. This person is, they got their own business or whatsoever, but they looking at you, and I don't know why they looking at you. Maybe they, they want to reach out to you, or this could be, like I said, a hidden admirer, secret admirer, or an ex of someone, or a family member. Someone just looking at you. Well, this can be you, Taurus, looking at a, a Leo, but this is someone looking at you. This is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Five of Cups. This is a Scorpio. So this is a Scorpio feeling close without you, Taurus. Can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, babe? I'm lost without you. Can't help myself. Yes. So someone's grieving over you, Taurus, or this could be you, Taurus. Someone's grieving over a loss, a relationship, or a loved one passed away, or a job, or money. Someone's feeling regretful how they hurt you, Taurus. They feel stupid, feel ashamed. Okay? And this could be, yeah, they feel stupid, they feel ashamed how they did you. They going through a loss, a relationship, a money, a job, or someone's feeling, and they watching, they watching, this can be this um, fire sign watching you, looking at you, feeling regretful, how they did you, and this could be a Scorpio that's feeling regretful, hurt, going through a loss. I lost a job of money, who whatsoever. We got the chariot. This is a cancer. You got a cancer that's coming towards you, Taurus, to talk to you. This could be a friend, a family member, a friend, or who whatsoever, or a business partner, okay? Or this could be an officer, a policeman, or someone. Okay, someone's coming to talk to you, Taurus, about something. I don't know. It's, it could be movement of a resident, okay? Victory over a situation or a problem. So you can, you can have victory or, you know, victory or success over like a job or a, a house or a move or something or a relationship to be coming back together. Okay. So this is good news. Someone's coming to tell you. Yeah. Resident. Yeah, so this is someone's coming to you. This can be, like I said, a police officer. Someone could be getting evicted uh, from their apartment, from their home, from their house. Or they can be uh, moving to a new resident, new home, a new relationship. Like I said, this can be someone coming to you to talk to you. This could be a police officer or um, a landlord or, like I said, a friend or someone is coming in to talk to you. Okay, we got a Scorpio, Seven of Cups. We got a Scorpio that's stalking and watching. You, Taurus. Hmm. 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 We got a Scorpio that's stalking and watching you. Hmm. I don't know who he is. Hmm. Who is this Scorpio watching you? This could be a stranger, a psychopath, a pedophile, or a family member, friend, or enemy, enemy, who whatsoever. Someone's watching you, see, and then they can make a move toward you, to you, trying to see how they're going to approach you. They're trying to watching you, just seeing, just, the, I don't know, this is a creep. This is saying creepy. Uh, this is a Scorpio, someone's watching you. Okay, or this can be you, Taurus. You have options. You're looking at other people. 
other things you want to you know you want to go out and 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 date other people okay or this could be a scorpio you're dealing with that wants to date other people on you that wants to go out in a relationship and and look for sex and and all types of stuff from other people okay but be careful with this scorpio whoever this person is i don't know if you know this me your ex or family friend friend me whosoever if someone's watching you and they just they they i don't know Someone's looking at you, or did you looking at someone, Taurus? You watching someone. So all that glitter ain't gold. So be careful who you pick up, who you talk to, who you let in your house, who you let in your circle, and who you had sex with, because you never know. You never know. Okay? We got the Queen of Swords. This is a Libra. We got a Libra is like pissed the fuck off talking shit to someone or telling someone some shit or... Or it could be coaching and mentoring someone. Oh, this is a Libra talking shit to some people, a Capricorn, to a group of people. So we got a Libra that's that's going against you with a group of people. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra Taurus, but this this is a Libra going against you with a group of people. Okay, with a group of people, these could be some secret society people. These could be some people that um. This shit can be like any kind of, this is weird. This is someone, it, this can be the police or uh, Department of Human Service, CPS school. This is a Libra that's telling off on someone, making up lies on someone, reporting someone to a group of people. This is someone setting up plotting against someone. This is someone plotting against you, Tori. A Libra and a Capricorn you're dealing with. This person going against you, these people plotting against you. It's weird. Yeah, this is the Libra is plotting against you. Going to some people, these could be FBI policemen, or this can be a church, church where you go to, talking to a pastor. Okay, something about this pastor. Someone is doing bail work in a church. A pastor or something about a pastor. Someone's getting married in a church. Someone's looking at a property. You asking someone about a property. Or this Libra or this is you, Taurus. Talking to some people about a property, about a house, a home. About a business. This can be hospital. Group people, lawyers, doctors, judges. Or well, this could be some people that scammers and schemers and shit. Lord have mercy. We got the death card. So we this is a Scorpio that's coming towards you, Taurus. This is someone, um, I don't know if this is an ex of yours or someone that you used to deal with that left you and ghosted you for someone else and had kids by their marriage. Now they coming back toward you, Taurus. They're coming back towards you, I guess, to ask for your forgiveness, to work on something with you, to have a relationship with you. Okay, this person coming back towards you. Or this could be new beginnings for you, Taurus. This could be new new beginnings for you. You want to start all over. You want to start clean. You want to start fresh. Okay, like I said, this can be a Scorpio that wants to start all over you, that wants your forgiveness, and wants another chance with you. And this person coming towards you. Or this could be you coming towards Six of Swords. This, this could be you, Taurus, traveling, moving to come or water, getting away from these people, trying to get away from the Scorpio or whoever. You just want to get away and take a vacation. You just need to be alone to yourself around water. You just need to just get out and feel Mother Nature. Okay. Yeah, so we, we, we got a Scorpio that was trying to plot against you, Taurus, but it didn't work out. So you, we got a, Cap, a, a Scorpio that's trying to plot against you with a Capricorn with some more people, but it didn't work out. See, what it was, the plot went against this Scorpio, okay? You know how a motherfucker try to backstab you and betray the end up backstabbing and betraying their motherfucking self? So this Scorpio grieving over a loss. 
I guess they thought they was getting away with something by plotting against you with a group of people. Now they looking stupid. As usually. Okay. So also, we like I said, we got this cancer, the chariots, the cancer that's coming towards you. But this person coming towards you as the secrets and lies kind of sneaky, kind of dark as well. Okay, and this Scorpio as well. So like I said, this could be someone that had you the third party Taurus and shit like that, and still is in a third party relationship. This could be someone who wants to come in and explain themselves to you. This cancer. And Scorpio wants to come in and explain themselves to you, Taurus, about what happened, why they ghosted you, why they why they hurt you, why they did you like that, and this, this, and that. But this person's still on some bullshit and lies and secrets. Okay, like I said, we got the seven of cups. So Scorpio wants to move towards you, Taurus. Okay, this is someone, like I said, this could be an ex or someone, someone's watching and stalking you. Okay, but this is someone wants to move toward you, towards you. Um, We got to, like I said, we got a two of wands, the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius watching you, Taurus, and you got a fucking Libra that's talking shit about you to some people. Like I said, this can be probably the human service, CPS, anything. Someone's reporting you, making a phone call, just talking shit about you. Also, Taurus, you could be, like I said, it didn't work. Whoever these people was, whoever this was plotting against you, it didn't succeed in doing it, okay? So they made their self look like an asshole, an ass white. And we got the seven of wands, the Leo feeling guarded towards you, Leo, uh, Taurus, or this is you need to guard and protect yourself from a Leo, someone that you can't trust, or this is a Leo that feel like they need to protect themselves from you, Taurus, because they don't trust you, okay? Dealing with a Gemini, so the Taurus. So you feel like you need to protect yourself from a Gemini, with a lover? Or this is a Leo trying to protect you from a Gemini? You're in love with a Gemini, Taurus? You, is it a family member, friend, or someone you're talking to about a Gemini? You're talking to someone about a Gemini? A lover or ex, a friend of yours, or something? Just be your, you can be talking about this Gemini to your family, Taurus? Or... Or this could be a Gemini talking about you. But if you're talking about a Gemini to someone, you uh, a Gemini, you like a Gemini. This could be a Leo trying to keep you from going toward this Gemini, Taurus. Yeah, this could be a Leo, a Leo is trying to keep you from going to this Gemini. So, Taurus, you, I don't know, like I said, you in love with a Gemini, you with a Gemini. Okay, you talking about someone to a Gemini, you saying some things about a Gemini, that's not good, that's not whatsoever. Okay, but this is someone in love with a Gemini, like I said, I don't know if you're in a relationship with a Gemini, Taurus. Okay, but um, romance and... Yeah. Yeah, so we got the five of stores, Taurus. This is Aquarius. So we got Aquarius plotting on you too, Taurus. This person plotting on you, some more people plotting against you, Taurus. Plotting against you and a Gemini, Taurus. You got Aquarius that's plotting on you and a Gemini. Some people, a group of people. It could be a school or... Uh, Hospital or some family member, friend of me, enemy in the workplace, in the neighborhood. Someone's plotting on you and a Gemini. Someone don't want to see you and a Gemini together. These would be some people that you thought was on your side, Taurus. That you, these are some people that you thought would never betray you in that way. That you thought was your friend or family member or who was whoever. But somebody don't want to see you with a Gemini, Taurus. And this Leo also don't want to see you with a Gemini. Hmm. Like I said, you got a Scorpio that's coming in, want to plot against you. Be careful with this Scorpio with this, this death, death card. Mm-hmm. Got the Eight of Cups. This is a Pisces. 
This is a Pisces walking away, Gemini. I mean, Taurus. Someone was walking away, keeping secrets and lies, not being honest with you, hidden agendas and motives and flaws and all. Uh, this is a Pisces going through something, Taurus. They going through karma. Something that they did or went wrong. They lost their house, their job, their money, relationship. Okay. This person can be coming towards you as well, Taurus. It's Pisces. You got this moon right here. This person can't be trusted. This person is full of bullshit, lies, and games with you. Yeah. So we got a counselor that's coming in to tell you some news. Like I said, I don't know if this is like this is cherry about eviction or a new home, new resident, or a new job, a victory in something. You got, like I said, you got a Scorpio death card that's coming towards you on some bullshit. Okay, lies and secrets. Somebody that boasted you and abandoned you and had kids and got married on you by somebody else. Now they decided to come back in your life, but they come back in your life and they not right. Okay. They own some plotting and planning and shit. It's a Scorpio, a, a pretender, a frenemy, an enemy. So be careful, okay? So this is y'all reading, um, Taurus. I hope all is well with you guys. Yes, yes, yes. And stay gorgeous.